Welcome friends. So today in the kitchen studio for lunch, uh, for crew lunch, I'm going to make not pasta carbonara. Um, so all of you keyboard warriors uh, can take a step back, relax, you've earned a day off. This is not pasta carbonara. So into this pan over sort of a medium low heat, I'm putting our homemade bacon. It is a smoked bacon. Um, I, I'm making pasta with bacon and peas, uh, by the way. So I use our own bacon. If this was carbonara, I would use guanciale. Um, guanciale is fantastic. I have some guanciale. Um, it is the cured jowl of a pig. Uh, the problem with it is it's not as easy to come by as bacon. And this one is, uh, this one is $50 a kilo. So this little piece of guanciale is like eight bucks. Um, <laughs> bacon wins, homemade bacon wins every time. So I don't want to really fry this. You just want to render it slowly, let the fat come out and then it'll start to brown. In this pot, I've got some water just coming up to a boil and I'm going to salt it. This is for cooking the pasta. And the thing with this dish is you don't want to use as much water as you normally would um, cook regular pasta in if you're going to put it in like a red sauce. And you don't want to use as much salt because the cheese that we're going to use later is, um, is heavily salted and the dish will just be way too salty. In this bowl, I've got two egg yolks and I'm going to crack in one egg. A little bit of pepper, fresh ground black pepper and some red pepper flakes, because I like a little bit of heat. And we'll just whisk that a little bit. Next up is the cheese. Now, you could use pecorino, which is the cheese of choice for this dish if we were calling it carbonara. Um, but you could also use Parmesan if you wanted. Uh, different flavor profile, and I guess since we're not making this as a traditional dish, you could use whichever you want, or you could use a combination of both. And here's the deal. I'm going to tell you, you should grate this yourself. Um, I know that that jar of cheese at the grocery store that's pre-shredded um, seems to be half the price, but at least half of that weight is filler and things that will keep it from clumping together. And it's also stale, so you end up using twice as much to get the same amount of flavor. So you're better off buying a decent piece of cheese and grating it yourself. And you can wrap this up, um, because this is a hard cheese and it's an aged hard cheese, it will keep almost forever in your fridge. Um, so we'll just grate some of this up and we'll move along. I'm gonna use both today. I'm going to say that bacon is done pretty much to the point where I like it. So I'm going to put the pasta in and start cooking it. Now here's the thing, you, we're using less water than you normally would. And the idea is that we want this water to be very starchy because that's going to help with the sauce later. So one of the problems with cooking uh, more pasta in less water is you have to be very careful that it doesn't stick together. So watch it closely at the start. Next up, we mix the grated cheese into the egg. Just give that a whisk. Okay, I think everything is coming together nicely. That pasta is just about done. The bacon is done, so I'm gonna turn the heat off on the bacon. Um, you don't want the heat on in this pan for the next step. And I'm just gonna get something out of the cupboard. A ladle, so that we can add a little bit more of the cooking water into the sauce. Okay, turn that off. Now, you don't wanna rinse or drain the pasta. You just wanna bring it over and pop it into the pan with the bacon. And bring as much of that water over as you can. Um, 
Obviously, you don't want to slop it all over your countertop and your stove that you have to cook it, but you know, here it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, all that pasta is out. Now, stir it furiously with the bacon grease, the bacon fat, and just get that pasta coated with the bacon fat. Now, in goes the egg and cheese mixture. And we just stir and shake. What's gonna happen is everything's gonna come together in a really nice sauce. And this is the point where you start to, you look at the sauce and if it's a little bit too clumpy or a little bit too thick, Get your ladle and scoop in a little bit more of the pasta water. Not too much, don't overdo it, because you can always add more. And you just keep stirring. Now, add in the peas. These were frozen peas. Um, we've just microwaved them to warm them up a little bit so they're not frozen going in. Um, you can use any vegetable you want to put in here. Um, broccoli's really nice, broccoli rabe, rapini. All of those things, I would just blanch them a little bit ahead of time, even in the pasta water, if you want to save time. And we just stir this together, and that's it. Lunch is ready. And that's it. It didn't take me long at all. And that's kind of what I love about this recipe. It's simple, it's fast, it's adaptable. You can change up the flavors, you can change up what you add to it. It's something that you can make really quickly for lunch if you work at home or on the weekend for lunch. Um, it's also something that, you know, when you come home after work and you don't have much in the cupboard, you probably have all of these ingredients. Mmm. I love this dish. Um, come on back and we will do an actual carbonara, which really isn't much different than this. Pretty much the same flavors, um, but we'll do a real true one. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.